Sands, we love his toughness. Um, feels like he's been with us forever. Third preseason game for you guys. A lot of pace, a lot of high volume threes here. But what are the areas you want to fine tune heading into the regular season? Yeah, we work, we look we look a little rusty right now. We're getting some open shots. We got to knock them down in and around the paint. We're not finishing very well. So just completing the plays, and then also I think our passing's a bit sloppy. Thanks for your time, coach. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Cassidy. Timberwolves shot just 29% in that first quarter. Nick shot 38%. That old guy, Mr. Conley, might help out with that pass. He is a four and a half assist to turnover ratio. <laughs> Offense runs smoothly under him. As Deuce McBride misses a three. McBride was under the weather in the last preseason game for the Knicks. Back out there tonight. Here's Dillingham around the Gold Bear screen. And the foul is called. On campus bank. The Knicks have Payne, Landry Shannon, Precious Achua, Deuce McBride, and Jericho Sims. Well, Deuce McBride had a heck of a year a season ago. Uh, he will now be that first guard off the bench. That was Dante DiVincenzo for much of last year. But Deuce was very capable a season ago. Fourth year out of West Virginia. Dillingham's pass broken up. Hands it off to Gobert inside, mid-range, Minot for two. First field goal for Josh Minot, 26-23. Second quarter action here at the Garden, Michael Brady, Doris Burke, Cassidy Hubbard, and a whistle, another foul. We've had four quick fouls already in 66 seconds of the second quarter. That one's on Joe Ingles. That's his first. That despite the fact that we're being told that there's going to be more physical contact allowed in the league this season, which I think is a very good adjustment. I thought you saw it in the second half of last yes. season. And officials were honest. It wasn't well communicated that the change was happening in the second half of last, last season. So we got a lot of people talking, but personally, I like the change. I was going to ask you that giving, question. I giving defenses a chance. Listen, these guys are so skilled, right? The range shooting is ridiculous. The ability to even just touch a ball handler on a face-up, an arm bar, something to help slow the explosiveness. As, as Steve Kerr had noted for, I think, a couple of years, he had been pleading for some of this. It's just like you had given the offense such a great advantage. And how about that game, man? <laughs> Doing him out there dancing. There's Shamit. No good from distance. And those defensive adjustments certainly help the Timberwolves and the Knicks. The Knicks were top 10 in defense rate of the season ago. Of course, the Wolves were number one. Ingles with a long on the three, and there is another whistle. Minot pushing Achua from behind, and let's watch Dillingham dance, TB. Well, you're going to get a up close and personal look at this. <laughs> the hand, a little change of pace. Let me pull up with that floater from just inside the free throw line. I'm not going to take that big man on. Exciting skill, speed. Oh, they're going to love him in Minnesota. Let's send it over to Cassidy. Yeah, Rob Dillian bringing a lot of rookie optimism around the T-Wolves. Anthony Edwards says he reminds me of myself a little bit when I was a rookie. Just happy. For instance, Julius Randle this morning was talking about playing in this arena as one of the things he'll remember most about his time here with the Knicks. And he said that Rob Dillian came right up to him and said, man, these lights are different. Like, this court is different. And he said that made Julius realize, you know, it's a blessing to be able to play here every night. It is the world's most famous arena, guys. There is something yeah. different about this place. It's the Mecca. Has that name for a reason. Here's Sims. And now pull up short from Payne. I love the navigation by Dillingham and the, the you know, stick to itiveness defensively. Like, didn't give up on the play, had to navigate a screen twice. Good effort. One of the things the coaching staff has challenged Dillingham on. They know he's great offensively. They want him to be a better defender. Gobert inside, going at Sims with the block. Gobert couldn't put it in, but ride the board. Pushing the tempo, and Chua couldn't handle it, lost it out of bounds. 
Well, this is not an easy shot to block. Jericho Sims elite athletically uses the appropriate hand. 26-25 New York. McDaniel stops on one foot. Can't get it to drop. Sims the rebound. McBride over to Shamit. Good look at three off the heel and Ingles the rebound. Shamit on exhibit nine contract with the Knicks. He's bounced around in his short time in the association as Dillingham inside tied up. Nice defense by Shamit with the hands. 7th year out of Wichita State. We're going to see DiVincenzo and Anthony Edwards check back into this ball game. Edwards had four points in that first quarter. DiVincenzo had nine. He must be coming in for Dillingham. Uh, Dillingham and Shamit jumping it up. <laughs> Two littles going at it, and the Knicks win the chip. Daniels all over McBride, but Daniels playing with three fouls. And did he just pick up another? Watch the defense of Dillingham. So you can see he gets screened first. You've got to stick with it, right? So. Just follow, lock and trail, be there. Make that vision a little bit harder. We're talking about the coaching staff challenging him, but just sometimes it's about effort. And saying, I'm okay, I might get screened, but I, I can keep fighting, keep working. McBride at the free throw line. The Knicks, meanwhile, they missed their last nine three-pointers. As McBride knocks down the free throw. What's that foul on? on it was oh, on McDaniels, wow. his fourth. He was about to compliment his defense on that drive. <laughs> We're taking it back. <laughs> he is one of the elite perimeter defenders in the NBA, but struggling, staying out of foul trouble in this ball game. Four fouls in seven minutes for McDaniels. Dillingham up top. Edwards. Around a go bear screen. Kick out. Extra pass. Even Chinzo the fake. The floater up top to go there. Tremendous play by Dante. You know, everybody talks about the three he made a season ago. He's not afraid to deck it and make some plays. Another three attempted. Joe Ingles could have taken as the floater goes and did it. Right, and it's a simple extra pass. Nothing's going to show in the box score, but that's twice his willingness to move that has created something for Minnesota. And selfishness is contagious. Here's Dillingham on the attack, air ball. And it sure will bring it up the other way for the Knicks. New York leading by three. McBride outside Cameron Payne, long range. Bottom. Backup point to Cameron Payne. Gobert, the handoff to DiVincenzo. Outside, Ingles for three. Goal! That time he's shot ready, and he knows he's the best option. So he passes up a couple, and again, Dante with a play off the bounce. Drive over to Achua. Top. Lot of to a screen. Quick trigger. Sham it. No good. Angles the rebound. Mike Conley said he was so happy to no longer be the oldest player on the Timberwolves with Ingles' arrival. Oh, Sham it to steal. Downhill. Got the leg. Making the play on Anthony Edwards. Exhibit 9 this. <laughs> Gobert outside the DiVincenzo. On the move, floats it up, no. We'll call that another pass. Let's watch Minnesota work a little bit on the offensive end. Preseason, but what can you give to the team? Little pick and roll, 
with Anthony Edwards. He's going to move it to the other side.